Today we're going to talk about some different windows we have inside our new project. And as you guys can see, we have four windows, we have a toolbar, and we have a decibel counter down the right side. Now we also have different tabs in different windows that we can choose. And we're just going to talk about what some of these can actually do and what we need to use them for when we have a project going. Up in the left side, we have a window. And inside this window, we have four different tabs. Now, as you guys can see, we have source, where it says right now we have no clips because we don't actually have any clips inside our project. But this is basically where we can preview our clips that we have pulled in before we actually put them into the timeline. We also have an effects controls panel, which is one we're going to use quite often when we choose footage down in our timeline. And we want to add effects to it and then tell it what to do with the effects. So this one you're going to use quite a lot. We also have an audio clip mixer, which tells you information about the audio in the clip you have chosen. And then we have something called metadata, which simply tells you information regarding the clip you have chosen. On the right side, we have our preview window. Inside the preview window, we can see what is actually going on inside our timeline down here, which is the final product, or at least the sequence that we put together down our timeline, which could essentially be the timeline for our final movie. So we can actually see how the entire movie is going to look like when it's cut together and edited. Down here in the bottom of the window, we have different options for playing. We can step forward slowly, we can go to the end, we can go to the beginning, we can mark in and out, which basically means we can, you know, tell it where we want to extract footage and just remove some part of the video. We can also go down and loop the video if you want to, so we can keep watching the same thing over and over again. And we can take screenshots and all kinds of fancy things. If you want to add more stuff down here inside your toolbar, you can click the plus over here. And then you can simply take a button and drag it down to your timeline or down to the toolbar if you want to use it. At the bottom here, we have a timeline. And the timeline, like I said, is used for actually seeing what you're actually cutting and editing together. Now, the timeline is also where you're going to choose your footage or drag effects onto your footage if you want to make changes to the actual movie. On the right side of the timeline, we can see the decibel counter, which basically tells you how loud your footage is as it's being played. This one you should keep an eye out for, because a rule of thumb, at least for me, is when you make a movie, you don't want your sound to go above six or minus six decibels, because then when it gets to the red part at the top, it's gonna to start peaking your audio, which doesn't sound very good. On the left side of our timeline, we have a toolbar more. Inside this toolbar, you can find tools for editing your timeline, which can be, for example, if you want to cut something with the razor tool. On the left side of the toolbar, we can see we have a project window where we drag all our footage into if you want some footage that you can drag onto your timeline. Inside this project window as well, you can also set up new adjustments. You can create new sequences. You can create black videos, which is basically just a, a black background if you want to have some sort of, you know, black background with text on it. You can also set color mats and do all kinds of fancy things down here, which we'll talk about later on. Inside the same window, we also have effects, which is actually where you're going to choose your effects that you're going to add to your footage. Now, once you add effects to your footage, up here in the effects controls, once you click the footage you added an effect to, you can actually adjust the effect and change it. We also have a media browser down here, which is basically a place where you can go and look for your footage and import it into your project. We also have libraries. If you did actually create a library for this footage you want to use. And we got some other things down here that we don't really need to talk about yet. So for the beginning, we're just going to go ahead and stick with this information for now. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys inside our panels here is that we also have a menu at the very top here. Inside our menu, we can choose what we want to focus on when we're creating our video. Right now it's set to editing as a default, which basically means that right now we're just focused on editing our footage. If you want to do more coloring in your footage, you can change the layout. And as you guys can see, when you click it, it changes everything you have in here. So now all the windows adjust themselves. So you can be more focused around what color or white balancing the footage has. You can also focus on effects, audio, titles, and we're just going to go ahead and stick to editing for now, because that's basically all we have to do in the beginning here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and next one, we'll talk about how to actually set up a new timeline, which is called a new sequence, that we can use to actually drag footage into. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.